Well, earlier today, three bills in the legislature made it through the final vote and are now waiting on the governor's signature to become law. The bills have to do with providing tax relief while adjusting funding for schools. Channel 8's Matthew Mitleider has more in our top story tonight. Today is a huge win for everyday Nebraskans. On Thursday, LB 243, 583, and 754 were passed by the Nebraska legislature with little opposition. The first bill, 243, would change the property tax rates for school districts and set a 3% revenue cap, meaning property owners would be paying less taxes for schools. These bills really represent a measure of historic tax relief and transformational education funding reform. However, this means schools won't be getting as much funding from those property taxes. To help make up for that, the second bill, 583, would increase state funding for individual students and further reimburse special education expenses, while saving money for the future. There's also been amendments made to allow school districts and the public to override the revenue cap for those faster-growing districts. Senator Breezy says the two bills will work in tandem to change the way that we fund schools while lowering Nebraska's reliance on property taxes. No one in this body wants to choke off or do harm to public education. We just want to try to ensure that the dollars we put into public education yield property tax relief. Senator Conrad and a number of others say they had some reservations about the final bill passed, 754, which would give a tax cut for some of the state's top earners and businesses by 2027. I understand and appreciate that we should have an, a discussion about updating our tax code, but I felt like this measure really fell short and it didn't do enough to ensure that hardworking middle class families are getting the relief that they deserve. Some argue that the bill is a tax cut for the rich and doesn't help the lower or middle class citizens. The Open Sky Policy Institute says the medium income in the state is about $67,000 a year. And this bill would really only provide relief for the wealthiest Nebraskans and out-of-state corporations. About 75% of these tax cuts are going to the wealthiest top 20% of Nebraskans, that is people making more than $138,000 a year. Supporters say bringing down that tax rate would help to draw in more businesses to Nebraska and make it more appealing for people to move here. Despite being more contentious, it ultimately passed 39 to 2, with four senators not voting. Reporting in Lincoln, Matthew Mitleider, Channel 8 News.